Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Keymove K98 wireless mechanical keyboard that was sent over to me by Keymove themselves for my honest review. This keyboard starts at a price point of $79.99 but is on sale right now for $69.99 and comes with three different switch options. Red switches, diamond browns, and fast silver linears. The ones I have here today are their red linears and they do all three have light diffusers on them for better RGB diffusion. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a nice wire that kind of is color matched to the keyboard itself which I am a big fan of, and a nice keycap and switch puller as well. This keyboard is fully made out of plastic but I do think they have done some things that are kind of nice in terms of the ease of use features. The 2.4Hz dongle does not have to be laying around. It has a spot on the back part of the keyboard on the right foot. It has a little slot that you can put that 2.4Hz dongle when it is not in use so you don't lose it. And then if the battery ever starts to go bad, it is very easy to remove it as the back part has a little plate that can just slide right off and you can remove the battery if needed. The keycap quality themselves is very solid. It is a nice sort of similar to Akko's ASA keycap profile. It is not anything like an OEM profile which is what I do not like so I'm really happy to see this. Another thing I was really happy to see is that the red keycaps are very vibrant. It is not a dull red. With that being said, the RGB light bar on the front of the keyboard is quite nice. I do think maybe if the RGB light strip was the whole thing, it could look even cooler, but maybe they just wanted to do it only one side of the keyboard. I do think the stabilizers could have used some work, not so much in the lube department, but maybe in the wire balancing as they do have some issues there. And I do think the switches and stabilizers do feel slightly on the mushier side, not super mushy. They just do feel a little bit sluggish. So maybe they are a bit over lubed as well. Something to keep in mind. Now I do think this keyboard has a lot going for it. I do think it's important to point out the two biggest flaws I have with it. That is the fact that it is still using a tray mount design which means that the plate is screwed to the PCB which creates pressure points which in result leads to an uneven typing experience. Another thing I didn't really like is the fact that it's still using a steel plate. I've never been a big fan of steel plates as they can provide a super harsh bottom out feeling and they usually have a lot of ping. Fortunately enough for us, the switches are pre-lubed and there is a bunch of silicone so the ping issue is not a factor when it comes to this keyboard but it's still something to point out. While those two things are flaws because of the price point that it's hitting and the fact that there aren't that many keyboards with this specific 96 or 1800 layout on the market, I do think it is still something to consider regardless of these points unless these two things are deal breakers for you. Here's a quick sound test so you guys can hear how it sounds. So yeah, when it comes to the sound profile, I do think that silicone kind of eats up any unique sound signature that this keyboard might have had. At the same time, because of that steel plate, maybe that's for the better. Maybe if you remove some of it, that pinginess that I mentioned might occur. At the end of the day, the price point is pretty solid and it still has a lot going for it. And if you don't like the switches, because I did mention that they were sort of over lubed a little bit, you can always swap them out because it is hot swap. I'll be leaving a link to this keyboard in the description below for you to check out. But let me know what you guys thought about the Keymove K98 in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.